How's it going everybody? Kyle, Rapic here with another tutorial for you all this week on flipping from one ledge over a gap to another ledge with whatever kind of drop that you have and focusing on just the idea of controlling your flip while using momentum that you create from beforehand, spotting the landing on the other side and controlling how you come out of it. And you can do this with a side flip or front flip, it's up to you. In this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating with a side flip simply because the idea of a side flip is a little bit more challenging than a front flip because a front flip is obviously straight because you throw your body straight, whereas a side flip, you have to counterbalance with some other thing. So, let me demonstrate it. So that's what it looks like. It's a lot of fun when you really get it down, but make sure you have control over either your front flip if you're going to do a front flip or your side flip if you're going to do a side flip. If you just landed it, I wouldn't recommend trying this just yet because the idea of understanding momentum is important. The idea of understanding how to send yourself high enough to make a drop, but also far enough to make the gap, the distance, is also very important. So if you don't have your cycle down, I recommend getting them and then coming back. So since you're covering a gap, one of the most important things to do is get some momentum. Now. I don't recommend starting from the other side of the gym, starting from the other side of the town, starting from the other side of the goddamn Milky Way galaxy just to build the same amount of momentum that you would from a couple feet away. Learn to create momentum, not rely on building it. I'm gonna start from here, so it gives me one, two steps of momentum when I go into my side flip. So, First thing is make sure that you know how you side flip. I'm a righty, so I usually have my right foot in front. So when you take off, you want it to be smooth. Nothing is smoother as far as foot placement than walking. You go left, right, left, right. So you can go backwards. So start from where you would take off here, go backwards, right, left, right, left, here. So then you have your steps. So right, left, right, boom, boom. And then you're good to go from there. That'll help you judge your distance and foot placement. From there, it's just a matter of making sure you jump as high as whatever it is that you're going on. If it's too high, monkey up, but keep your chest up so you can set up into the flip. Make sure you have momentum that goes far. If you jump up too high, but you don't keep that momentum going forward, you're gonna have to really reach to cover that gap if it's too far. So allow yourself to keep the momentum. So when you're going up, you go up, but stay forward so you can carry that momentum with you over the gap. Once you have the intro down, the idea of actually getting on top of the block, when you're coming up and as you're going into your set, it's important to make sure that you know where you're sending your momentum. You can be faced this way sideways, but if you push too far behind you, you're gonna go that way. If you lean too far forward, you're gonna go that way. You have to focus on where you send your momentum in your takeoff if you wanna make that area that you're trying to land on or in. Now if it's a big roof, you probably don't have to worry about it, but for the sake, I gotta focus on that general space. Keep your chest up as you come up, have your hands up, that way you can reach. And the idea of reaching, a lot of people kind of just throw it down like that. If your hands hanging down, if you're not using your hands, you're going straight down. Make sure you use your hands to help you reach up. The upper body sets you up for height going up, and the lower body follows through with the rotation. So when you're going from here, hips going up, and you're throwing into your tuck, when you're actually doing uh, when you're actually doing the tucking part, you're upside down. So when you think this would bring you down, it's actually picking you up because your legs are here and your upper body's here. So as you're tucking, your legs coming down, your chest goes up, and then after that, all you gotta do is really spot the landing. The movement should be exactly the same. It just depends on the distance, but. As you play around with smaller distances first and progress to further and further distances, it should get a little bit easier and you should gain an awareness as to where your body's at in the air, but also a sense of control so you can adapt to different heights, distances, and situations like that. Do keep in mind that in any flip, the tighter you tuck, the faster you rotate. So if you find yourself landing kind of you know, on your side or your hips, maybe focus on what you're doing differently in your takeoff. Some people, whether they feel like it or not, they're actually taking off with the knees still bent. Focus on fully extending your legs by kicking hard off of the ground in your jump. Not really kicking like that, like stomp, but once your feet plant and your jump, think about kicking off the ground to get you a lot of height. And then when you rotate into that tuck, tuck fast 
because you want to finish that rotation before you start coming down. That way you can spot the landing and adapt to how you're coming out of it so you can land safely. Obviously, land bending knees. Don't land hard in the stomp. You don't want to land on your heels first. You want to try and land on the balls of your feet, keeping your heels up so you can cushion that landing. Safety tap if you need to. If you really have your side flips down, you can come out one, two, pop into another side flip. Sometimes people will do that, so it's really up to you. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Just make sure you know that you have to get enough momentum to cover the distance. Make sure you have really good control over the height and the tuck, the rotation of the actual flip. In any flip, know that the tighter you tuck, the faster you rotate. Learn to spot so you can adapt to how you're coming out of it, so you can land safely if you need to roll. If you have really good control, you can come out and pop into another side flip. Maybe even add three blocks in a big distance and then boom, boom, boom. Step it up a notch, land side flip, bam, side flip twist. There's a bunch of variations. So, with nothing more to do, let me throw some slow-mos for you guys. If you guys really enjoyed this, if it taught you something, please film some stuff of you doing this stuff and then throw it as a video response to this tutorial so I can see that my tutorials are working for you guys. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take great care and stay positive. <laughs>